fighting for our life out here. Happy Saturday. Hey girl. Happy I don't like this because this looks like I'm doing a sit down video. This angle is not giving me Okay, anyways. Happy Saturday, y'all. So today I decided that I'm gonna get back on my Zoom. I ordered this set. <clears throat> I ordered this set from Snoo, and honestly, I'm the type where I'll order stuff, but then I'll just like hold out on wearing it until I don't know when I'll be going to wear, wait to wear it because I don't be going nowhere. But I wanted to hold out, but I'm like, you know what? No, we get back on Arizona Day. Let's, you know, feel good, okay? I'm about to throw this on and then we're just gonna get the day started. So I haven't journaled yet. I haven't did my daily reading of the word. I haven't did any of that. So I'm gonna take Brax out on a walk as well. We're just gonna get into a couple of things just to get my life back together, I guess you would say. So let's get into it. Obviously I don't have on the set because I'm missing the boris bra and i did put it on and zipped it up but then i was just like yeah no it's not really giving so i just put on a different jumpsuit and it's a little black jacket from revolve or whatever first stop this really wasn't in the plan today but just because i just know i want it and i don't know i just feel like i need it to just also make me happy um i'm gonna go into ulta real quick It's a lippy that I seen this girl have on TikTok and I put it down in my notes. It was so pretty on her and she was to my skin tone so I feel like it's gonna look great on me. Elf plumping gloss. Oh, they don't even have it. The one that she was using. Well, I'm just get this color and see if I can finesse it. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I believe. Yes, God. Now, so I went into Ulta and I got three lippies. I'm not sure if I ended up showing y'all or not, but it's not the exact one. Combo that she used, but I just did what I feel like would be closest to it. So I got Morphe's Mocha Twist, and then I got Elf's Limp Plumping Gauze and Mocha Twist because I think I've heard somebody else using this and it was pretty. And then I got Pink Cosmo, which I usually already use. So I'm gonna try to put it on and see like what it's giving. I got so many compliments in there on my makeup. I just feel so light when I get compliments on my makeup. This is a gloss? I mean... This is a gloss? I think I got the wrong thing, y'all. Oh, it's a liquid lipstick. This is not right. It's not right. I wasn't paying no attention. It's not right. I gotta take this back in there. I gotta take that back. I'll be back. I'm glad I tried that right here. I don't know if I like it or not. I like it, well, let me turn down this. I like it right here, like on my camera. I just don't know about on this camera. This isn't even the color that I was talking about, the sweet tea, because they don't have the gloss in it. Um, they only have the liquid lipstick or whatever, so. Um, I might go try a different Ulta. I don't know. I may just, you know, stick with this, what we have for now. Hopefully y'all can hear me over the air, but we finna go ahead and head to the park. Hopefully they have type of food trucks out there or some, something, something, because I haven't ate anything. Popsicle slushy smooth something. Usually they do, so yeah, let's just go see what the park is giving today. I was thinking about calling Deja and seeing what she doing, but I don't know if she working because she. I don't know if she got to work people out there today. Not work people out there. <laughs> if she has to train.
love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. I really should put on my headphones just to give even more of that, like, It's hot. I'm trying to see if I can do my order online. If y'all can even hear me over this music from Hero. Because obviously I have Braxton. But it's not letting me click. I don't know. I really kind of don't even want. I don't want a donut. I want food food. I know it's a cobble around here that we could go to. But y'all, it is hot out here. And the park is literally like jumping, okay? I don't think I will ever come back out here on a Saturday again. No. Cause the last time I came out here, it was like last year. And it was just so, nobody was out here for real. It was just a oh, vibe. Today is just too much. It's just too much. Mm -hmm. Now that's what I really was wanting. This was really the point of me coming out here. Oh my God. Oh, that's too bomb. Mm. So I just know them other flavors buff so bad. Cause it's that real shaved Italian ice, that good soft ice. Okay, so we just pulled up at Carver. I haven't had Carver since my son ate my bowl the last time. It's kind of bringing back, you know, those upset memories, but we're not gonna do that. So yeah, I just pulled up at coffee. We're about to go in and I'm gonna just sit down in there because I was trying to find like a coffee shop because like I said, I still haven't even done my um, reading, my journaling, and I definitely have to do that. I have to do that every single day. So I'm gonna just do that in here because they don't close until like 10 o'clock and all the coffee shops, they close at, they closed at around six and it's, six, it's past six now, so. That obviously wasn't an option, though I was planning to do everything at the park. It was just way too busy out there, and it just wasn't my vibe for me to be sitting down doing my, you know, mm -mm, it, it just wasn't doing it for my mind. I need, yeah. So, you know, really, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do my reading in here because I like it to be quiet. That's why I really wanted to do it at the park where it's just like peaceful in nature, but I guess we'll figure it out. TikTok and seeing other people going through losing a spouse, losing a 
parent tragedy like stuff like that it makes me feel for some reason it makes me feel better about my situation so it's just like girl it's people out here dying be like for real it's people out here dying that's how i look at it we're in our healing girl era yet again but this time we're gonna try to be for real because i be on my healing healing girl era and then um, you know you know how it goes you know how it goes but this time like, I really want to be serious because it's like every time I'm like oh I'm good happy genuinely happy with life every time I hit that point that's when you know you know so this time, this time though, I want to be, I, I mean, I was taking it serious, honestly. I was this year, at the beginning of this year, you know, with me getting on my journey with God, I was definitely taking it serious. And I feel like I'm somebody who is very aware of, well, I felt like I was somebody that was very aware of the, the enemy and his tactics. And... At the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. That's how I see it. And everything can only happen with God's permission. So even if it was the enemy's tactics, he had to get permission from God at the end of the day. So there was something that God had to show me or teach me through it all at the end of the day. That's just how I look at it. But seriously, I really want to take this super serious. No matter how it ends up turning out, in the end, I truly want to be very disciplined with myself and just really stick to really 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 just restoring myself and because i was getting i was definitely getting there and i feel like i was there but at the same time i think maybe some things were just doormat and not truly healed um which is what certain things showed me or whatever but i truly just want to be healed and don't get me wrong, healing is like a never ending thing. Until you go to the grave, you're always gonna be healing, you know, getting better, whatever, learning new stuff, going through stuff and learning again. But I just wanna get to a place where I just know, I don't really know the words for it, but I just wanna take time to myself for at least a good year, at least a good year, just by myself. Because y'all, I've been in a relationship, not the same, I've only been in two group relationships in my whole life, right? It was basically non-stop. I, I haven't been single since my sophomore year in high school. Of course, like between the breakup of the first one, there was a couple months in between, but that's really not enough because after that breakup, I wasn't where I am as knowing as I am today to the point where I was like, you know, I need to heal from this and this, that, and the third because I really didn't feel like it did anything to me, but it definitely did a lot. It just, I think it was just so bad that it numbed me kind of in a way to a point where I really didn't realize the trauma that I was going through. I didn't really put into perspective how bad it was and the damage that it was doing to me because after a while I feel like I was just numb to it. It didn't really bother me. People could ask me about it. When I was in therapy, if you can follow me, you know that I was in therapy. Even when my therapist would ask me about it or whatever and ask me, you know, like if there was any hurt or things like that. It's just like, no. I don't, <laughs> it was bad, y'all. It was, if I explained to y'all everything that took place in my first relationship, You'd be like, girl, 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 it's bad. are you okay? <laughs> but it was bad. Like the scenarios and situations were bad, but I don't know. I'm just such a, I, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm a numb person now because I feel like I've kind of released some of that numbness, I guess. Cause I do allow myself to feel now and I try to tap more into my emotions and stuff so I don't want to say that I'm as numb as I was at the end but I was just that was I was just numb and honestly I don't feel like that relationship did it to me 
I just feel like I've always been that way. I've always, no, before I even stepped into a relationship, a true, like, relationship, I've always had a guard up. And it's not even from a, a boy or a man or whatever. I just, it's just certain things that I was taught at home um, that caused me to just always have a guard up. So though things may come through and may hurt me or whatever, it's still just some type of guard that I feel like, it's like I can't come to the realization or grasp the fact that certain things are really outrageous, you know? <laughs> Cause I'm just so numb. I don't know what to call that, but yeah, that's that. But I just really truly want to take at least a year to myself and it may even be longer than that. You know, you never know God's timing. But I know for me, I honestly feel like I need to take at least a year just to myself to just, I don't know, get to know me, who I am and just build me before stepping back into a relationship. That's not to say I maybe won't go on dates, but then again, it's kind of like I feel like I shouldn't even do that because I just want to be solitude with myself. Just, just focus straight on me. I don't even want temporary. I don't need nothing throwing me off. That's, that's the point. Because y'all, this relationship, marriage was a topic, and if I really sit up here and think about it, granted, I do want marriage for sure, and I can't wait. Well, I can't wait, but I can't wait to be a wife and you know have my family and stuff like that but i definitely want to go into marriage without any regrets and something that i've always said was i do want to just be by myself for a little while before going into marriage especially before going into living with somebody else i want to be by myself first and i haven't experienced that yet and i just don't want to get into marriage and down the line, you know, have those feelings of I should have did this. I didn't get the chance to do this, that, and the third or whatever. Not while not have been no hot girl, not on that type of tip. I'm definitely talking about just me and just, you know, fully catering to me before I take on the role of catering to somebody else as a wife and becoming a mom. Baby, when you become a wife and you become, well, when you become a wife, you're literally dying to self. When you get married, you're dying to self, okay? So I definitely need to take that time <laughs> to not die to self, <laughs> I guess you could say, before I do that. When I haven't even experienced me to the fullest, I feel like, in certain realms um, before I step into a marriage covenant because that is truly serious and definite. And when I do that, I'm, you know, that D word, I'm not even going to speak it. That's not even an option. So I want to make sure that I did everything that God has, has in his will for me to do on my own and for myself before joining together with someone else and that is hard because you know you want it so bad but I have to make sure that I'm not idolizing it and I definitely think that that's one of the reasons why things have happened the way that they do because I have to make sure that I'm not idolizing relationships I'm not idolizing you know the thought of wanting to be married I have to make sure I'm not idolizing that type of stuff and putting it before God's ultimate will and the assignments that he may have on my life you know outside of a relationship so looking forward to it I guess you know it's hard it's definitely hard doing this when you're doing it the holy and godly way because it's real fun healing when you outside you know yeah it's real fun that way but don't get me wrong, it can be fun this way too, but it's just really, it's, it's a lot of isolation. That's what it is, it's a lot of isolation. And when you really wanna do it the right way, I definitely feel like you can't get too caught up in hanging around, hanging out with your friends and just finding other, other stuff to basically take your attention off of things or to basically mask it. You can't be 
doing all of that that's why it's hard because it's like you really have to just sit with yourself if you truly want to heal if you truly want to become you know your best self you have to sit with yourself and you i don't feel like you can do that with a whole lot of distractions you know so that's why it's hard because granted though you have those moments where it's like i want to call somebody um you know i call my friends whatever it's not like i have a lot but i call my friends my cousins or something like that and i want to go and do something but no you need to get and and don't it's so crazy because it's like i was okay with it but every time you get a taste of having somebody that you know you're constantly talking to constantly with it take i feel like it just takes that away a little bit that comfort of just being alone and being by yourself but that's the thing that's why i feel like i need to have at least a year of just being by myself so that even if in the future i do get in a relationship or whatever and maybe it doesn't work out i want to be sure and know that i'm i'm gonna be good in my own space without that person you know so yeah which i am but i don't know hopefully y'all get what i'm saying but i definitely want to start i think i'm gonna do like a sit down updated something i don't know probably an updated not a routine q a i don't know some type of video because i just want to let y'all in on a little bit more not too much not too much because y'all know i'm i'm very private when it comes to my personal life i share a lot with y'all but i'm very private when it comes to my personal life but i just feel like i don't go through what i go through for no reason and i just don't want to be holding that i'm going through when it could be freeing somebody else you know and y'all wouldn't believe y'all wouldn't believe the things that i have been through in my life okay but a lot of times i kind of downplay the stuff that i've been through because i'll look at other people and i'll just be like it's people out here who don't have parents it's people out here who are suffering from fatal sicknesses and i'm like girl that is nothing but then again it is because it could be other people out here like some of y'all could probably be going through the stuff that i have went through and i just feel like the way that i keep on going it could help you know but i don't know i just don't like putting my business out there and i also just it's like i know that i'm not perfect so i don't want nobody to take it as if i'm just trying to paint a picture a bad picture of people and i just was all the way perfect you know i guess but then again some stuff is just i ain't i ain't i ain't like that now <laughs> you know <laughs> only 
makes sense and I haven't been wearing my retainers like I was supposed to anyway so this is actually kind of perfect it worked out great and it will also stop me from you know taking I mean it will kind of help me to stick to my fast I'm not sure about I can't remember if I talked about it I know I had made a quick I know I had made a quick video but well, that's definitely clear <laughs> this sign right here always is very very clear like he will not stop showing it to me so I know that's something that like that's a com that's confirmed every single day almost so yeah but um, I'm not sure if I told y'all on the video basically it was like I was having a hard time because I haven't won the fast for a while to be honest I knew I was called a fast and I had just been putting it off, putting it off. And then the days that I would start trying to, or whatever, it's like I would I would be successful with fasting for a couple hours and then I would break it. But it's just really, really hard. I found that it is really hard to fast after you begin to, you know, feed your flesh again. Because before, y'all know, I was fasting and I'm not the type, though my first ever fast was in January, like my first time ever. I think I tried it back in high school one time with my church, um, but I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I succeeded. <laughs> but I also just wasn't where I am now with my relationship with God. But I was very, very strict and disciplined with myself my first time really, really taking on and saying, hey, I'm gonna fast in January. I mean, I took that so serious, and even when, when I did feel like I wanted to break fast, I just had to remember why I'm fasting, and you know, it was just like, hey, look, no, you, let's remember, we, we need this, okay, we need this, we're fighting for our life out here, I was fighting for my life in January, okay, so I, I had to stick with it, but um, it's just, I found, or I see how hard it is getting back on track with the denying your flesh, because it definitely gets... I'm not gonna say fasting is ever just easy peasy, but it gets easier. Um, and I feel like you just get stronger against the enemy um, and his tactics when you are constantly, you know, you kind of just build up a regular schedule of denying your flesh. That definitely helps you to deny your flesh in all different types of ways or whatever. But when you start to feed it again, it's hard to get back on track. But I'm sticking with it. I know I tried like last week a couple times and I failed, but I'm not failing this time. I'm gonna complete this fast successfully because Listen, I need to hear clearly from my father. <laughs> I, I need I need him right now. I need him to speak. Okay? I need to hear him clear as day right now. So um listen. I'm not breaking. I'm gonna complete this fast successfully and that's gonna be that. So I'll pick back up. years you free now and then you start to see pharaoh coming behind you so it says as pharaoh approached the israelites looked up and there were the egyptians how adversity will cause for us to romanticize memories but forget the hangover for somebody under the sound of my voice and watching online who is considering to go back to what God brought you out of. Let me talk to you for a second. Did you forget what it was like when you had no peace there? When you prayed and asked God, you said, God, okay, get me out of this. If you get me out of this one, you know, we try to give like negotiations to God. We're like, God, if you get me out of this, I won't smoke no more, I promise. If you get me out of this, I won't go over their apartment anymore. If you let my cycle come, y'all not talking to me. If you let my cycle come, God, I promise I'm going to keep it locked. I promise. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. You only need to be still.
still. Mm. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Oh. Tell the Israelites to move on. I feel like I'm Moses right now because God wants somebody to move on. Stop looking back on their page. Move on. Stop, ro stop romanticizing the memory, but forgetting the hangover. Move on. It's going to be hard for us to make destiny decisions when your history is your counselor. Oh, okay, Jerry. Before you can obey God, you have to first book a therapy session with your history. Mm. And this moment to move forward. Destiny is greater, is greater than my history. Than my history. What do you do when your petty self, y'all not talking to me, your petty self and your mature self are in a tug of war over your decision making? But your mature self is saying, listen, the real flex is when you don't allow somebody to cause you to step mm -hmm. out of your kingdom character. Remember who you are. Remember what you represent. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Because once you meet your maker, it is for the purpose of you discovering why you have been made. Forgive yourself all the times you failed for a counterfeit. You didn't value wisdom back then. You wasn't seeking God's face back then. Now you value God's hand. Now you value God's voice. You didn't before. Maybe one of the ways you could be like him is to forgive you too. It's Thursday, and like I said, I was going to pick back up on this vlog on Thursday, which is Thursday now. I did complete my fast, but I have to be honest and say that I did not complete it all the way. I think, I'm not sure if I told y'all, but my plan was initially to not break my fast until I woke up this morning, but I did end up breaking it yesterday. Um, it was around like 9.30. It was after church last night. I broke it. And honestly, I broke it because I just feel like I got the answers that I kind of, that I feel like I needed from church, um, which y'all won't see that until Sunday if y'all watch or whatever. But I just feel like I got the answers I needed and I was just like, okay, I'm going to just go ahead. <laughs> and I mean, I was really, really hungry, but y'all don't break your fast until until you say that you're gonna break your fast because once I started eating I got full so fast and I did end up going to crumble as well I went to crumble and I had got me some wings and in initially I got crumble because I was planning to eat them like today or whatever but y'all just wait because child it's like I sort of damn broke my fast like I got so full thinking I was so hungry whatever but Anyways, it's so crazy because I was scrolling through TikTok because I had not been on social during my fast. So, um, outside of when I was posting and stuff, I tried to limit my time on social media as much as I can. I ended up having to delete Instagram because I kept on clicking on it. But, um, yeah, I was limiting my time on socials. But once I broke my fast or so whatever, I went ahead and just, you know, I was back on socials. And... I was on TikTok and I ended up coming into agreement with another fast. So I'm fasting right now from sun up to sundown. So yeah, no nothing except water. And honestly, I feel like it's about to be just a dry fast. But no, actually I'm about to go to the gym, so I'm gonna end up drinking water. But yeah, it's kind of like it just. I guess maybe God knew, so that's why I just had the. I didn't really have a piece without breaking my fast, but I usually, if I didn't went that long, me, once I didn't did the first two days and I'm to, almost at the end, I'm like, yeah, I'm not about to, you know, I may as well just go ahead and wait. I can do it, but something in me, I just went ahead and, you know, did it or whatever, but yeah, I'm, I'm fasting again. So this fast, uh, I came into agreement with this fast. It was um, a lady on my TikTok that called for a fast. Well, she said that she felt like the Lord was leading her to basically speak about um, a petition, Philippians 4, 6, which is about us not being anxious for nothing, but instead praying and petitioning and, you know, requesting the things that we want from God or whatever. So that's why I wrote out, you know, my petitions and everything like that. And so I'm fasting from sunup to sundown today. 
Um, now, I do plan on not breaking this fast until in the morning. We're about to head to the gym because I don't know y'all, I really, really miss the gym and I miss the gym, okay? I miss the gym and this may be tricky because I haven't really ate anything other than the little wings I had last night this week. <laughs> I feel like I'll be fine. I just really, really wanna go to the gym. And this is also a part of, you know, getting on my Zoom. I'm sorry about the fire alarm. That's why I, I didn't even realize that was going off until I started talking just now. So yeah, I'll meet y'all at the gym. I'm about to check on my uh, gym app and see if there's a class going on right now because sometimes there is classes going on and then that means that I can't go in my little room that I be going into when I'm doing my like warm ups and then I also do certain workouts in there too and if it's a class going on then I won't be able to I'll have to like wait yeah I think we're good though so Let's go get this work in. It's 5 o'clock. Let's see what time we come out. JK, I wasn't good <laughs> to go in there and start because as soon as I got in there and I was about to set up and start, one of the workers came in and I was like, what class is about to start? And I'm like, uh... <laughs> and it was somebody in there taking the class. So sometimes the ones with the virtual instructors, don't nobody even be coming in there and taking the class. So I'd be good, but somebody was in there about to take the class or whatever. So looks like I'm gonna have to wait. Like I'm back looking like how I was, honestly. But it's so easy for me to gain and get to where I wanna be, and it's easy for me to lose it. Well, of course it'll be easy if I've been on a three-day water fast. <laughs> I just left from the gym but as I was driving from the gym I turned on my my playlist if you listen to my playlist I have a playlist titled in due time that is my playlist that I like to listen to um, that just pumps me up and reminds me of the promises that God has for me and that I know will eventually and soon come to pass whenever I'm feeling down or just you know I just need a reminder so the first song that played was changing your story and i literally didn't even let it play all the way out it's actually paused because i was just sitting up here thinking and i started i began to tear up because y'all i just feel led to just tell somebody baby god is changing your story okay as i was listening to the song i just started to think of how i'm pretty sure i spoke on it a little bit but not too much um in detail of course because i'm not going to share fully but there is a uh, something that i am going into very soon here and um that's something that i was seeking clarity on during my fast that i just got off of and while i was fasting i did go ahead and basically you know get it going i guess you would say now i did get it going in a way in the past like a few when was that probably about a month or two ago I got it going but I didn't keep up with it or just you know 
I didn't have comfort with the route that I was going with it. So yeah, anyways, this thing that I am soon to be going into, um, I was just listening to the song and the song she's talking about how God is going to change your story. And I just started to think about how I was just riding. I'm just driving back home or whatever. And I'm just thinking of, I, I, I began to get a vision and just see myself later on in life just I, I began to get a vision of my future self and me in that thing that I am taking on now and I just started to think of how a lot of times I'm somebody who is scared to tell people anything that I'm doing even when it when it came to me getting my car I didn't tell a lot of people I was very very protective over me getting my car when I was telling a lot of people, it wasn't happening. Then when I started to keep it to myself, that's when I finally ended up getting my car. So I'm very protective over big moves that I'm making in my life. But at the same time, it's like you have to have, that's where discernment comes in. Because this is something that I've wanted to do all my, well, not all my life but for a while this is something that i wanted to do that i basically had put on the back burner and i had even came to the point of saying yeah that's not happening i'm not doing that you know i'm not doing it ever um but this year as i got back in as i got into my word and got real deep in my relationship with god he brought it back to the forefront and was like no you are doing this okay so it became very clear to me around February, I believe that was, that this was something that I am called to do. And I'm so happy that it's not something, um, you know, sometimes people are called to do things that they're like, God, nah, I don't want to do that. But this is something that was already on my heart to do that I just had thought, you know, it wasn't going to happen for me, you know? So... The thing about it is that made me begin to get emotional was the fact that this is something that I began to open up to a couple of people about. And some of these people are not even in my life anymore. Well, one. <laughs> but it's the fact that I, the thought process was, wow, I began to put it out there in the atmosphere. And now it is truly coming to pass it's 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 coming to fruition it's beginning to happen for me and that's why i say discernment is important because certain things i do feel like you have to put it out there and i have to remind myself you know my god is bigger than any curse any down talk any sabotage from anybody my God is bigger than all of that, okay? So that's what I have to remind myself because I am so, so, so protective over anything that I am trying to do, y'all. Y'all probably know that by now because I get so many questions about, I even get, I already have my car now, but I still get questions about what type of car I have and this, that, and the third. And it's, it's, a, it's a lot of things I don't share because I'm very, very protective over certain things. But y'all, I just began to tear up because it was just like LaShondra, <laughs> not me using my real name, LaShondra, it's happening. It's, it's really happening. And I started to tear up because it's like, oh my God, like it's really about to happen. It's about to happen. I'm about to walk into it. We're about to get this ball rolling on this thing that I had washed my hands with, y'all. So, I just want to say, there is nothing that you cannot do in this world. It's never too many things that you can do, that you can take on. If it's anything in this world that your heart is pulling you to do, do it, okay? 
because you don't know what can come from that i don't know what may come from this i don't know why god revealed this to me again i don't know why he placed the the passion in me again after i had washed my hands with it i don't know but all i know is i'm about to do it it's gonna happen i'm gonna be great at it and i'm just so overwhelmed so happy and i'm so excited and it's just like i want to tear up right now but y'all not gonna catch me crying on here <laughs> <laughs> knock on wood i'm just so ecstatic right now y'all i can't even put into words how excited i am about this um of course doubts well i'm not even gonna say doubts i would say more so like fear tries to arise sometimes um about certain aspects of it but i know god got me i know i'm covered he wouldn't he wouldn't put this passion inside of me for me to pursue it and fail he wouldn't so i know i'm gonna do my big one okay i'm gonna do my big one i'm putting it out there and if I could say if, if I could say the name on here, I I mean not the name. If I could say what it was on here, I would go ahead and prophesy over myself right now. But I I do that in my own time. I do that in my own time. Um, but yeah, girl, girl, get up. Like Sarah Jake said, girl, get up. Okay, girl, get up that's that's what time it is right now it is go time it is go season oh my god i'm so oh my god i'm sorry i want to cry so bad i'm so excited and i cannot wait to share i cannot wait to share what it is with y'all it's probably gonna be hard keeping it away from y'all the way that I want to keep it away from y'all but you know if God leads me to tell what it is then I will I don't know if it's me or God but I think it's I think it's me that's just holding back on saying exactly what it is because you know like I said I'm very protective <laughs> but he'll lead me to to open up more about it if he wants me to but yeah i just had to come on here y'all before i go in this house i had to just tell y'all that because girl remember that your god is bigger sometimes you gotta put stuff out there in the atmosphere and it's never too many things that you can do okay it's never too many things that you can do shun the creator shun the this shun the that shun the this shun the that we're gonna do it all everything that god placed in my hands i'm gonna utilize it everything that he is trusting me with and assigning me to best believe i'm gonna get the assignment done one way or another okay and you better too girl okay because remember obedience is better than sacrifice if it's something pulling on your heart go see about that Go see about it, okay? <laughs> Happy Sunday. No, I already checked in with y'all and said it was Father's Day, but we finished up. Um, take him to go eat and stuff. <laughs> uh, but I just put up a trade address because I know I've been saying, oh, no, I did not check in with y'all. That was in the other part. We finna go ahead and get this uh, grocery shopping done. I needed to do to get back on my Zoom because I've been putting off grocery shopping for I don't know how long now. And listen, we about to go into a new week we got to get started i've been putting this off and it's only right to do it on a sunday so we can just start the week off right tomorrow i can get up you know be productive and stuff you know just keep up so we just put up a church of Joe, so i'm gonna go ahead go in here and see what all we can find so yeah and it's father's day so i got um another one of my daddy seeds with me I've been 
I'm sneezing in for you I haven't seen nothing like you before Can you help bring me back to you? You're my favorite one You're the rarest one How could I go back just for a temporary satisfaction? You've always been real Oh, it's so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. All the best things come naturally.